Hi foodies, cranberry sauce is one of those things that I enjoy all throughout the holiday season from Thanksgiving to Christmas. It's nice to have a really good recipe so you can enjoy a homemade version. Let's get into it. So this is going to be very easy guys. I have some fresh cranberries here and I'm going to be using some salt. There's some sugar here. You can use white sugar if you prefer. Some water some ground cinnamon and ground cloves, some grated orange zest, grated ginger, and I have some cherry jam here. You can use strawberry jam as well, okay? So these are gonna be put together to make a really delicious cranberry sauce. Good for chicken, turkey, whatever you like to have it with. So cranberry goes straight into a big pot. I'm adding the sugar and we're going to be adding the water and the other ingredients because what we're doing is just cooking these over a medium heat okay so the water is in and then we're gonna go in with our um, jam if you can't find cherry jam you can use strawberry jam well, then we're gonna add some grated orange zest some finely grated ginger we're going to add a little salt because adding a little salt helps to balance out anything that's very sweet. So stir all of this together over your medium heat. And if you feel like you need to add a little more water, go ahead and add a little more water. It depends on the consistency that you like too because some people like their cranberry sauce on the thicker side and some people like it runny along with the solids from, you know, the cranberries. So you can always add a little more water if you need to. We're going to go in with the spices. So that's the ground cinnamon and the ground cloves. So just keep stirring this over the medium heat and just allow the cranberries to burst. So it will take a little bit, so just keep simmering this for about 20 minutes or more and keep your eye on it because the sugar can burn easily. So you want to make sure you stir this occasionally and check it out. See if you need to add any more water. See, they're getting even more beautiful because they're all bursting now and they're soaking up all of the flavors that are in there. Now remember that cranberries are naturally very tart. So give this a taste while you cook it to see if you need to just add a little more sugar and stir it in good. Add some water if you need to and let it simmer until all the cranberries burst open. I tasted it and I ended up adding some more white sugar because the white sugar dissolves easier and I just needed a little more sweetness. So I added that. This is absolutely delicious, guys, and you can even make this even more grown up. If you're just having a grown up dinner, um, you can add some cherry liqueur to this. So it is really yummy and gorgeous. Look at that beautiful color, guys. As far as texture, you can continue to reduce it if you want it to be thicker. But if not, you can leave it like this or you can add a little more water, let it simmer again. But the consistency is up to you. Just make sure you taste so that that balance of sweet and tart suits your palate. And that's it. Now you're ready for serving this up with your turkey or your chicken, whatever you like to have cranberry sauce with. It is so delicious. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like and click the subscribe button. See you next time.